Hi and welcome to Gujimara country. This is another great example of Australia with some great long-term history. I'm being overlooked by this friendly neighbourhood koala to make sure I'm not doing anything wrong. Now the people here, the land here is made up of 59 clan groups and about five language groups. Did you know that Australia at the time of European settlement was more linguistically, culturally, uh, legally, ethnically, biologically diverse in terms of human habitation than was Western Europe. And I sometimes get fed up with Western Europeans telling me we have no culture in this country. Well here in Buj Bim we're about to see some really fascinating culture. 30,000 years ago what the Europeans call Mount Eccles, which is a volcano now dormant then erupted, blew up and created these new water courses under the supervision of the Guchimara people who were living here 30,000 years ago. As those water courses changed, they learned to tame the water courses and the eels and the fish that live within them. Not only did they catch them like hunters and gatherers, but they actually farmed and looked after these eels, created stone houses on foundations, some of which date back 6,700 years ago. That's right, there are stone foundations of buildings in Australia that well predate the pyramids take that British people that say we have no history here. The eels themselves are incredibly fascinating as well. They spawn out near New Caledonia, that's probably 2,000 kilometres away, and end up coming around the currents, through the salt water, and then up these freshwater streams. So here at Buj Bim, you get the sense of long-term human habitation, long-term geological change, and the fact that Australia is much, much more than the country founded by a couple of white people in a ship in 1788.